Let's take a look at the steric number for H2O. This is water. To start out with, we need a valid Lewis structure for water. So right here is our valid Lewis structure. If you need help drawing that, there is a link at the end of this video. So when we find the steric number for H2O, we look at the total number of atoms bonded to the central atom. That's the oxygen there. And then we add that together with the lone pair of valence electrons around that central atom. So for atoms, we have one, two, two hydrogen atoms. And then for lone pairs here, for our lone pairs, we have one, two on the central oxygen. So we count all these up, one, two, three, four. And the steric number for water, that's going to be four. Steric number is very useful when we're looking at molecular geometry. So if we wanted to find the molecular geometry for water, we know the steric number is four right here. And there are one, two lone pairs. So two lone pairs, steric number of four. We're going to have a bent molecular geometry. So you can use steric number to find the molecular geometry. This is Dr. B taking a look at the steric number for H2O, water. Thanks for watching.